Hi kids! Today we will learn what are gears. So let's start. Kids, gears are wheels with teeth. Gears can be of any size, very small to very big. Gears can be made up of plastic or metal. And remember, gears always works in pairs. Gears always have teeth on them and teeth of one gear interlock with the teeth of the other gear so they are called meshed with each other. And many gears can be joined with each other. And when more than two gears are joined together, we call it a gear train. Gears turn on the axle, which in turn turns the wheel of the object to be moved. So gears transfer forces and motion from one object to another and makes our work easier and faster. Gears can also change the speed and direction of the moving object. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Driver Driver is the first gear that starts the movement in a gear train. Gear wheels are mounted on axles, and an axle is connected to some power source, like it can be pedals in a bicycle that turns the axle connected to gears. Axle can be connected to some motor that runs the axle attached to the first gear or the driver gear, and then driver gear turns the next mesh gear, which can be attached to some other axle, which is required to be moved. Gears can change the speed as well as the force of a machine. Let's see how. When two gears of the same size mesh up, each gear turns at the same speed and there is no increase or decrease in speed and force. But when a larger gear turns up a smaller gear, the smaller gear turns up faster but with lesser force, as a larger gear has more teeth. And when it turns a smaller gear, the smaller gear has to turn around much faster, but with lesser force. For example, if a gear with 40 teeth turns up a gear with 20 teeth, the gear with 20 teeth will move with twice the speed to move along with the 40 teeth gear, but its force will be lesser than that of a bigger gear. And this is what we call as gear up to increase speed. Example, in the case of a bicycle with gears, let's see what happens. The paddles are attached to the driver gear and through pedals, we crank the driver gear, which in turn turns up the gears in the rear wheel. And there are multiple gears in the rear wheel for various speeds, like speeding up and speeding down. Let's see how does it happen. When the driver gear cranks up a much smaller gear, it runs faster, and so is your cycle, that is we gear up. And when the driver gear, using your pedals, drives a larger gear in the rear wheel, it moves slower. And so is your cycle. And this is what we call as gearing down. That is, the driver gear drives a larger gear. It is gearing down. And when the driver gear turns a smaller gear, it is called gearing up. 
So let's revise it all. In our cycle, the driver gear is attached with the pedals. And using the pedals, we drive the driver gear. And when the driver gear turns up a smaller gear, the cycle runs faster. And it is known as gearing up. And when the driver gear turns a larger gear, the cycle runs slower. And we call it as gearing down. For example, if a gear with 20 teeth turns up a gear with 40 teeth, the gear with the 40 teeth will move with half the speed to move along with the 20 teeth gear. And this is what we call as gearing down. And gearing down decreases the speed. Remember, gearing up gives the gear more speed but lesser force. And Gearing down gives the gear less speed but more force. This is why when you start a car or any bike, you have to start the engine from still. So you need more force. So lowest gear is used. And when you just need speed, the higher gear is used. One more example. If you want to ride up a hill, you will need more force, but less speed. So you will drive a cycle on a lowest gear so that it has more force to climb up the hill. Gears can change the direction of movement too. There are different types of gears and each gear is for different purposes. Gears differ from each other in the way teeth are arranged, the types of teeth, the way axles are put together, and also the angles at which the teeth meet. We will learn about each gear in our next assignment. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!